Welcome ladies and gentlemen, let's play Academia School Simulator. Off a forest drop now, so we're just gonna jump into the sandbox mode and I'm gonna be trying to make probably the worst school ever. All right, we can make our logo fantastic. What's a good school name? Hemorrhoid High. Oh, we can pick the different logos on the school flag. I, I like that. Badger, Badger, Badger. Oh, there isn't a mushroom. I guess it has to be Badger, 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 Onion. That's fine. Mm, make it yellow. We should probably make it red. Nobody asked for this. Oh no, there's a there's a limit. Ah, uh, I was really hoping. I was really hoping to make that happen. We hate children. Ooh, flags. Oh, I'm gonna go for the most beautiful flag of all. It's Maryland. Fight me. Oh, we're gonna torture all the kids? Goons? Sure, I, I want goons all the time. Delinquency? Devilish. Health? Hmm, sickly. We're gonna make it messy. Income. The social class of your students and how much they can afford to pay. Oh, we're gonna make them rich. They're not gonna be learning a whole lot in my school, I feel. Oh, prison uniform? Oh, you shouldn't have. Absolutely the German Shepherd. Great for catching when they break out. Oh, I want my school to be run by a gangster. Tutorial? Nah. I feel like running a school is gonna be easy if you don't really care about the well-being of your students. How about we hire some more workers? I wanna make sure that everything is built quick and without any problems. You got an achievement, wonderful. How many should I get though? Well, I guess until the computer breaks. 500 is a pretty good amount of workers. Ah, who am I kidding? Getting there, getting there. I'm just gonna leave it like that, just, you know, because it will drive you crazy. Oh yeah, right, we're gonna need to hire our principal, the gang boss. Oh, she just, she, she just hides in the like sea of people there. What are you doing? What What is that on the ground there? What do you, did you just litter? Do you just throw the shit on the ground right here? What is wrong with you? Well, she's a gangster. There it is, delivery zone. Well, let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, they're spreading out. This is perfect. Okay, be everywhere at once. Man, nobody's gonna need to walk. We can just hand it from person to person. Oh, excellent. All right, that looks good to me. What happens if I just remove the whole zone? Oh, nothing. Can you just like all go onto a single spot? Well, it looks like they sure as hell try. Yes, everyone on a single spot. Oh, I love it so much. I like how some like at the very end is like, nope, nope, no, I'm not seeing this. I'm not going there. Screw that. Time for an office. Suggested size, five by five tiles. I don't think so. <laughs> yep, that's effective. Obviously the table's gonna sit like very far in the back. I'll put the facts on the opposite side of the room. Just, you know, staying healthy, getting some steps in. Why is there a tree still in here? Could we could we get rid you know what? Keep it in there. It's fine. Right, we have like a school pet. Where 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 is that? Is it somewhere around? Where's our German Shepherd? I guess I'll just put the pet bowl down. Oh boy. Alright. Oh god, we we unlocked a lot of stuff. Excellent. Chain link fence. Oh, please. Yes. Nobody's getting out of this school. Okay, we're gonna have to get some kids in here. Uh, admission, just just all, please. We're gonna have to give our workers something to do, and what better than a human fence? Nobody's gonna be able to sneak out with these guys on patrol. Start school year. Oh, I need a principal's office, a classroom for each level and have incoming students. Okay, sure, let's, let's build some rooms. Let's get rid of all of this nature. This is getting really annoying. Oh, now they're busy, look at them. Look at them go. This is really hard in the eyes. Can we just, uh, I don't know, give Mother Nature more of the middle finger? I'm sure we can. Oh wait, I can buy land? <gasps> yes. I don't need it, but I want it. I want it so bad. Concrete all the way. Oh God, nope. Okay, the game did not like that. Okay, there you go. Uh, the frame rate. The frame rate, come on. Just, you're so close. Uh. Why is this so slow? Okay, I might, I might have to wait for them to finish this up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what if I like zoom in? Is it gonna be, nope, it's not any better. There's something very zen about this. Oh, he's not gonna need a thousand workers. Well, look who's laughing now. Oh good, I can't even zoom out anymore. All right, let's, let's save before it crashes. Oh, it, it's going faster, but I still can't zoom out. Where are you guys going? All right, we can zoom out again. What are you, where are you going? Guys, you're you're not you're nowhere near done. Oh, you're 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 starting this way. Let's build a classroom. Okay, let's make him face away from the teacher, and we're gonna make the teacher look in this direction. What else did they need? Oh yeah, the chalkboard. 
And the chalkboard obviously also needs to be facing away from the students so nobody can see what's going on on it. Oh, please let me build a fence around this. Please make this work. I think we need more workers. I'm actually kind of glad that my mouse is already somewhat broken. So I don't feel bad abusing it so much by clicking repeatedly over and over again. Oh, I appreciate all the dirt that they're dragging around. I'm sure that's not going to be an issue eventually. There's no nature left. There can't be any dirt that they can spread, right? The perfect number. And we're nearly done. I like how they all have already emotionally completely resigned. They're just staring off into the distance, accepting their fate. It's totally fine to just have chain link fence around the classroom. I gotta start the school year, which means I need a few more classrooms. I mean, this is the recommended amount of tiles, I'm pretty sure. Nobody said what shape. This bad boy here can hold so many students. For all I know, none of these are going to work. So with this classroom, I kind of want people to have to climb over all of these chairs to reach their spot and then the teacher to also traverse this, make his way all the way over to the other side of the map and then have his desk and chalkboard over here. So I like how you can like roughly make out where the NPCs have been walking, like little paths that have been generating. Yeah, we can start the school year, so I think I got everything to create a great school environment. Where are all the workers? Oh god, it's- oh, everything- the frame rate, what is happening? What is happening to the dirt? The dirt is spazzing out. Oh, there they are. I was sort of wondering where they were. Do they go home every night? God, it's a disaster. You know what, I'm way too lazy to fire all of them like that. Oh wait, mass firing? Must have a lawyer's office. Well, guess what we're buying? Okay, okay, the frame rate calmed down. You know what, I'm okay with this for now. For now- oh my god, for now! Give me an accountant. Oh yeah, I want like a hundred lawyers. For any student that complains, we're just gonna sue them. All year level classroom lack teachers. Oh shit, that's right. I guess we're gonna fire a few for our workers. I just want some of my frame rate back, please. Okay, who who's the worst of the bunch? I have like these like little badges next to their name. Can I get one without any badges? Or like a participation trophy maybe? There's four rooms and there's four teachers. Do I need to get teachers for every subject? These kids eventually are gonna learn something. I guess I'm gonna have to hire four of each department. Something along those lines. I can change lunch period. Okay, and recess. Can I just get rid of recess? Okay, how about we put recess at the very end of school? God dang it. Why won't you let me have fun? It's really important to me that everyone gets like a prime view of anyone who wants to go to the bathroom. Man, I'm really excited for the first students to come in. I love how the lawyers are still loitering. So our pet is still eating. Never stop eating. School's in session. Max. Going to rest. Oh yeah, this is where we're gonna put the staff toilet. And then just like a bunch of urinals on the left and right of the wall. I hope the workers are gonna be using this too. Don't let me down, game. Don't let me down. Oh, vending machines. Oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll build a vending machine. Are you telling me that... Somebody would be standing inside a urinal if they'd be using these vending machines. Why didn't you say so earlier? There's a bullying incident. Good, good, good. Mia is doing something fun. Are you getting bullied or are you bullying? Oh, you are the bully, okay. It's just having fun. You know, it's just kids gotta express themselves. That's not, that's not how I imagined this. I mean, I kind of imagined it like that, but that's just too close. Have you never heard of like personal space? Let's get rid of those chairs. You, you can sit behind the wall. I like how the workers just keep walking straight through the classroom for no good reason. There's no reason they walk for here other than to piss off the students. All right, your students are unhappy. I don't feel so safe here. What are you talking about? There's like over 1,000 construction workers running all around you. Vice principal. Helps the principal by sending delinquents to detention or counseling. Hey, now that sounds like the kind of worker that I need. How many vice principals can I have? Oh, I can't have all the vice principals. Ah, uh, nothing's gonna get done. That's so exciting. I love that when they don't have an office, the very first thing that they do is just go to the bus stop and loiter around there. Okay, the vice principals are starting to disperse again. I guess we're gonna hire a bunch of lawyers too. Just because I like, like the image of them just loitering. I still don't know if they're going to use the bathroom ever. Okay, I'm gonna hire a single janitor just to make his life as miserable as possible. I mean, it's a brave man. I wish I knew how you were feeling. Maybe. Oh, it's a bullying incident in the toilet. Excellent. 
I think this is now my favorite toilet. See, this might be helping with the bullying incidents if there's just, you know, hundreds of workers just staring you down as you're in the bathroom. Never, never, never mind. Oh, please don't. Not all at once. I mean, you know what this means. Yeah. Okay, I think I think lawyers and vice principals are not human because none of them have used the toilet yet. I mean, I finally got staff technically to go into the toilet, but not the way I was thinking. I don't know why the delivery workers just have this like constant urge to just go back between their two delivery zones. There's, there's no good reason to do this. Okay, how about you all just hang out in the children's bathroom, all 1,000 of you. Staff finally started using toilets. It's It has finally happened. I'm so proud of them. I think they're just not using urinals. I don't know why, though. I can make them climb over the toilet cubicles. Hallelujah. I have like 60 lawyers and not a single one thinks this is a bad idea. Have a snack while they're hanging out in the bathroom cubicles. <laughs> It's just, it's just homeless vice principals everywhere. And a loitering and littering. This is perfect. Wait, wait a second. Absolutely fantastic. I decided I would build a clinic surrounded by the toilets because that's, that's the way to heal if you get all of those bacteria in your body. That's just gonna help you be more resilient. Now, obviously we're gonna need a nurse to care for all of these sick people, but my absolute favorite part is the vice principals are hanging out in here and the lawyers, which makes me genuinely wonder. Oh yes. So if you just built chairs anywhere, people that don't have an office are just going to sit down on it. Look, look at all these vice principals and lawyers just sitting straight across the toilet stalls. I think the only thing we're missing here is that this toilet needs brown carpet to hide the stains, you know? Oh man, this is pretty bad looking, and I absolutely love it. So the set, this needs to be indoors, but there's a wall around it. So if I get rid of this wall, does this still count as indoors? Yes, yes it does. It absolutely does. And here we're gonna use yellow carpet. This gotten so much better. Just the toilet is just in the middle of the classroom. There's not even a wall necessary. Just, you know, how, how you want to learn. Well, starving. So far, none of them have died. I mean, at least they're feeling safe. It's a bullying incident. What is the? What are the vice principals doing? Or do I need? Do I need like monitors for this? All right, here you go. Now they're both sad now. A smoker has been caught. <gasps> oh no! How can I make all the kids smoke? Can I like put up cigarette machines or something? Can I just lock everyone in by just building a fence? and closing the door? I mean, I'm not asking for much game, but that one's important. Okay, so we got a few students that made it out. Let's see. Okay, they're all going to the door, hoping to find their way home. Okay, everyone's getting dismissed, but you don't know where to go. All the vice principals are just cramming in the corner. Everyone wants to go home, but nobody knows how to climb a chain link fence. Looks like the workers are still here. I think they're, they're living here now. I think you're all living here now. Okay, I see, I see a few people that were still outside going home. Yeah, this, this vice principal is going home, this vice principal is going home. Most of them I managed to still keep in here. And they're all panicked. I'm just waiting for the day to be over at this point. I like, the workers have just accepted their fate. They're just hanging around here and just using the toilets. This kid is also just not going home. Okay, I think the workers are also trying to get home now since it's after six, but nope, nobody made it. Oh, they're all sleeping on the floor. Oh yeah, I don't, that makes me so happy. Everyone's living here now. Like you're here for the school year. There's no, may, maybe the students get teleported home. I love that the first thing that they do in the morning is all run to the bathroom, all 1000 of them. It's, it's a sight to behold. There's so many violations, I don't even know where to start. Well, I'm glad that this game allows me to do all of those things. I mean, this is essentially my dream school, you know? Back in my days, we didn't even have chairs. We had to make our own school with sticks and horse poop. At least our dog is still happy eating. Oh, I can rename you. I wonder if this dog is ever gonna do anything but eat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little excursion into Academia. If you guys would like to see more, leave your ideas for videos. I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
Also, big thanks to all my Patreons. I mean, look at these people. They're amazing. If you guys want to support me, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below where all the flurgle durgle is. Alright, that's all. Bye-bye.